I had a really tough time getting to dive school and becoming a diver, combatant diver. I had to work with a lot of mental obstacles I had to get over. The repetitive nature and my leadership and my peers really helped me to get in there, give me the tools I really needed to get there. Once you're down there, you, you don't think about being claustrophobic or it being cold. You're on the mission. You're on the goal. Like that stuff is, is secondary. It's, it's not even in your peripheral. You're focused and it definitely helps 100%. Today we did some verification of an old survey. So helping the Japanese, we verified that the obstacles are there. So when they come into the boat ops, their boats are not getting damaged. And we saved them time too. Uh, they are, they're very busy. And if we can come out here and do it for them, it saves them. And to verify that their objects are out there and that they haven't gotten any bigger or anything from the storm is coming in, it, it could really help them out. One hand pretty much washes the other. We help them and they are simultaneously helping us. And we get the train out here. And with that, they get the verification that they need and if they need to come out here for further on missions, they have that information readily available. We're in the Japanese backyard. We're here with them. Um, so if we can help them out in any way, I think that it's good. We're good neighbors and good ambassadors. We come up from the sea, we come from the air, we come from the jungle, we come from the woods, whatever you need. 